Before we get on with the video, I would like to issue a warning. The relationship dynamic depicted in this video is not the most healthy one, but I suspect that any Arlequino lover probably does not expect the healthiest of decisions from her. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm home, darling. I know, I know you missed me as well. After all, it has been almost a month since the last time we saw each other. I suppose you've been keeping yourself busy? And of course, taking care of the affairs here in my stead. Oh? Well, as it seems, nothing eventful has occurred. I can always thank you for that. Now, now, there is much we can talk about. But I'm much more interested in you, darling. It's been quite a while, don't you think? Hmm. But you don't seem to miss me as much as I thought you would. Is there a reason? <sighs> there is no need to go and justify yourself. I can already see from the look on your face. The guilt? The little surprise? At being found out. Oh, don't be surprised. You truly thought that I would leave you behind for so long without leaving someone to look after you. It is too naive. But I should expect that much from you. After all, you've never had to work in the Fatui. And you don't know much of our ways. Don't you worry, my darling. I'm always willing to teach you. You see, I had left behind a subordinate of mine to look after you. Just in case someone thought to lay their hand on what's mine. It seems like I was worrying about the wrong thing. You were going out of your way to talk to that friend of yours. Whatever her name is. You don't need to worry about her now. Hmm. You're asking what became of her? Well, you could say that you came face to face with my true self. You know what happens to those who do. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know that I would not do such a thing without the right purpose and motivation. I'm not a bloodthirsty killer like most like to believe. She's simply recovering right now. Oh, sweetheart, you look too adorable right now, even with that sad look in your eyes. I know, I know, it might be hard for you, but I told you, that friend is not good for you, and you refused to listen. I suppose I thought I was running out of options that would serve as a good measure for teaching you not to do that again. Oh, don't do that. You know I hate it when you cry. Now come here. I'll open my arms. And you'll go right into them. Just like every single time. Oh, darling. I know. I know, I told you. But you're just so difficult. So stubborn. It's beautiful to watch. And even more beautiful to mold. Come on, that's enough crying now. You've been crying over that person for way too long. I truly do not get why you're so upset. She's simply a friend, didn't you say? Unless... Unless I was being lied to. Of course, you would not lie to me. I know you're far too honest for that. Even then, you must remember how you felt like today later on. It will serve as a good reminder of why you should not break my rules. <sighs> I am getting quite exhausted of that noise. Enough with it, Wyon. Enough, I said. Good. Good job. I've always known of how eager you are, yet it is so different to witness it in person. 
since you are so good today in learning your lesson, how about I provide you with a little surprise? Oh, there's no need to get worried. Don't look so shocked. Look, here is a picture of your friend. She's just fine. I only had a talk with her. You know, to give her the full picture. Just so in the future, she will know who she is dealing with. I am not really that jealous. It is simply my way of knowing what's mine and keeping it so. I simply don't like others talking to you so comfortably. And you know that I've told you about this. Especially when I've told you to avoid this girl. And you tried to meet her when I was not present. Doesn't that seem like a betrayal to you? You should be glad that I didn't do something worse. Oh, don't early me. You know that loyalty is the most important thing in any relationship. Never once had I been disloyal to you, and I intend to keep it that way. But you, you betrayed my trust in you, and you hurt my feelings. But I am giving you the chance to make it up to me. And I tried to make your first punishment a little bit light. I would even dare call myself merciful. Aren't I so? Right, darling? I'm glad you understand. Well, I don't intend to waste much time on such a topic. It is way too grim. And I wanted the first night that I come here to Fontaine to be a delightful one. I got you a few gifts. You may go to check them out. And please, try on that outfit that I got for you. I am sure it will look quite delightful. Oh, and by the way... Next time, please don't wear a cloak when you go out. It's not really that discreet. In fact, it even makes you more obvious. Oh, you are truly endearing. That shock on your face. It's the cutest thing that I will ever see. If you want to learn how to be a little bit more secretive and inconspicuous... I could always teach you. I would say I'm an expert on the matter. Now, come on. Let's go eat dinner. I'm sure there's much for us to do. Especially now that I am done teaching you your lesson. Just don't make me do it again. Alright, darling? I knew you would understand. <laughs>